34, center roll 8, Amway, 60 minutes. We're driving you sick. No, my psychiatrist told me my inclusion was <laughs> Don't shout at me anymore. Yep. <laughs> okay. Three shot. Three shot going into, uh, where were we? Uh, 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 we're going into uh, Dexter. You once said, Dexter, I don't have to get up in the morning to go to work. Can you imagine such a disgusting word in our vocabulary as work? I think so many people, you know, hate their work. And I don't really feel I work. I do what I like to do. And, you know, Abe Lincoln said many years ago, man's just about as happy as he makes up his mind to be. And I think so many people work so hard today to make themselves hate their work, like they're doing the thing they dislike. And, and I think that's why we got a day of so many ulcers and so many problems. Instead of making up your mind, I'm, I'm going to find something good in what I do, and I'm going to enjoy it. But somebody's got to do the work. Not everybody can enjoy, I mean, not everybody can, can join Amway. Then there'll be nobody else to sell to. Well, you know, it's like my driver, okay? I, I, I've got a coach. I travel around the country, and I've got a driver. Mm -hmm. And now he's in the business, and he's going to be a direct someday. And I just told him, I said, look, you're in training to be where I'm at. And uh, I never had a chance to be a driver, so I'd know how a driver should be, you know, and work for somebody else in that capacity. I said, but you're learning how to have your own driver someday. So he enjoys what he's doing. Everybody has to do something. But the one thing we got to learn to do is to enjoy what we're doing. And if we don't, get out of it and do something else. What does J-O-B mean in Amway? J-O-B is a, a phrase that I, I coined. I called it, I used to be the jackass of the boss. And that's when I used to have jobs that I didn't like. And the, I, I'd go to work, and the boss would uh, just come in the room. And I, would, I used to have a very poor self-image a very poor self-image. The boss would walk in the room and I'd start trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. And I remember one time when I was at Sears Roebuck, the boss came up and he stood there like this and he's looking at me and I had this big pile of power saws and I was carrying them over to the stock room and he got me so nervous I just dropped them. And then I fumbled one thing after another thing after and I could not do anything right and the, the longer he stood there the more stupid I was. And that's because I had a job and I didn't have a, a confidence in me. And as you get doing something you love, and you really enjoy it, then you feel more comfortable with it, and you're better at it, and, and, and the outside sources don't bother you as much. What's a stinking thinker? Stinking thinking, I tell people, a lot of people get, treat their head like a garbage can with a hairy lid, and they got stinking thinking. <laughs> and a lot of people do, see, they, they, they see the worst of everything. They're always trying to make everything the worst side they can. And you got to make it the best side. You can't make your life a, 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 a stinking life. You got to make it a, a sweet smell of success, wherever we are. People say, what's success? Doing better than what we're doing today.